All right, one thing we'll do every day on the offensive side of the ball is we'll do a ball security circuit. And we'll change up our drills as much as possible, but everybody um, is going to uh, go through the, uh, the circuit besides the O-line. The O-line will do um, an individual period, but every other position on offense will go through it. The way we hold the ball is we, what we say high and tight, so you'll see here the runner has the ball in between his uh, index finger and middle finger, okay? His, uh, his forearm is pressing against the ball and the ball is against his chest. We call that high and tight. We get it um, tight against our chest. We don't want to swing the ball like you do when you run. You, you, when you run, you swing your arms. We don't want to swing the ball arm. We want to keep the ball tight. We don't want to be able to see the ball from behind. Um, if you're a, uh, if you're a uh, defender coming to make the tackle, we don't want to show them any bait um, as far as the ball. Okay, now, one of the things that's hard to do is when you're uh, um, holding the ball in the open field is when you're using that off arm, whether the stiff arm, whether to brace your fall, the natural tendency is to uh, keep the ball away um, from your chest. So the biggest thing here is just trying to keep the ball squeezed against your chest while also using your off arm and running over bags and whatnot. So the first drill here is what we call an L drill. And as you see here, we'll go uh, two steps over the bag. Okay, we'll stiff arm uh, the bag while we're going over um, the other bags and then when we finish, okay, we want to finish. Anytime we get uh, into traffic, we want to put two hands over the ball in traffic. And a lot of times fumbles not happen because you're not holding the ball high and tight, but because uh, you have too, uh, too high a pads. We want to get low pads, especially in traffic. Get low pads. Get two hands on the ball and get your pads down low. Doing a decent job here as we stiff arm keep the ball tight. Now we'll add another um, coach in there to try to rip the ball out as they're coming through. You swing the ball a little bit too much on that first one. The biggest thing is just keeping the ball squeezed against your chest while you're giving a stiff arm, while you're moving your feet. And then when you get in traffic, pads over the ball, low pads, eyes up. We'll also switch the ball into the other arm. So now you're getting um, a defender hitting you with the ball in your near arm. Here you want to get your pads down over the ball. Our next ball security drill here is what we call monkey rolls. Okay, one of the things that's a tendency to do is when uh, you're going down to the ground is uh, to brace your fall with, uh, with both arms. It's only natural to, to brace your fall when you're falling down, okay? The, uh, we talked about keeping the ball high and tight, the ball tight against our chest, all right? If you're gonna use any arm to brace your fall, it's your off arm. So here, it's not only going down to the ground, but also coming back up off the ground. We stress not ever um, having any air between the ball and your chest. So right here, you see uh, to the left, the, uh, the first uh, runner helping himself up, there's a little bit of air there. We don't want any air at all. Keep that thing squeezed against his chest, and on his way down, he wants to keep it squeezed against his chest too. The runner to the right does a decent job of keeping the ball tight as he's getting up, as well as going down to the ground. Keeping it up high and tight the whole time, and that's the emphasis of the drill. Okay, We're jumping over and we're uh, rolling over each other, but the emphasis is keeping the ball squeezed against your chest the entire time, whether you're helping yourself up or going down to the ground or rolling over or whatever it might be. That is the, um, the goal in this drill. Now, the whistle blew, but you'll see the defender to the, or the, uh, the runner to the left help himself up, okay, and there's air between his ball and his chest, okay? We don't want to do that. We want to keep the ball high and tight across the chest at all times, okay? Now, here the whistle blew, but but as a general rule, that's how we want to always carry the ball when it's in our hands. All right, this is our wave drill here. Okay, another tendency um, to do with the ball is when you're going from uh, one direction to the other sideways, okay, is to um, move your arms, okay, and moving your arms sometimes gives you, uh, you know, sometimes you lose the high and tight across your chest with the ball and the, uh, the ball will separate with your chest, okay? So what we do here is we uh, 
get a couple runners out, we get their feet chopping, and then we have them run from one way to the other. Now, when they uh, run to the right here with the ball in their right arm, okay, they keep the ball high and tight across their chest, then when you change directions, we want them to rip that ball back into their body, okay, and keep it high and tight the whole time. And then they'll run back to the left, keeping the ball high and tight the whole time. A tendency is, once you go from right to your left, is to have the ball kind of open up. We never want to have any air between um, our chest and the ball. Okay, so we come out, we're chopping them up, we send them to the right, come, come back left, send them to the right, to the left, we come back to the left, we rip the ball back into our bodies, like we see uh, the furthest uh, runner to the left here, rip it back into our bodies, and then we uh, send them on through. Depending on how many you have, you, cut, you get them out, you get, them, get their feet chopping, when they go to their left, they, get, they rip the ball back into their body. When they go to their right, they're running. They go to their left, they rip the ball back into their body. So here's just an emphasis of open field running, okay, not um, separating the, the ball away from your chest. Keep it high and tight the whole time, no matter if you're going right, going left. You know, sometimes when you make a move in the open field, you tend to uh, make a move with your body and your arms. You want to keep the ball tight against your chest the entire time. And you'll also uh, switch it up the next time around, going with the ball on the left arm. Okay, this is our seat rolls uh, drill here. Okay, same premise. When we help ourselves up or we go down on the ground here, we want to keep the ball squeezed against our chest the whole time. You see the runner to the left here is doing a good job, as well as the, uh, the runner in the middle there and the runner to the right of helping themselves up with their off arm while keeping the ball squeezed against their chest the whole time. Okay, then we get them up and we get them in a direction. Okay, once we send them in a direction, they still have to help themselves up with um, keeping the ball squeezed the entire time against their chest. All right, it's a little bit harder with the ball in the right arm now to uh, get up with keeping the ball squeezed against your chest. You'll see 20 here in the middle. Okay, he's got the ball on the ground. He's helping himself up, but the ball is still being ripped back into his body. There's no air between the ball and his chest. Then you'll send him through. The next group will go up, help themselves up, keeping the ball squeezed, send them in a direction. You'll see two here in the middle, go down. The ball um, is high and tight the whole time. Help yourself up with your off arm, keep the ball squeezed. Coach will send them in either direction he wants, then send them through. Now right here, the next group, I don't necessarily like the, uh, the runner to the left right here. Help it. He's going down on the ground, you'll see separation between the ball and the chest. That's what we don't want. Okay, you don't want that. You want the ball high and tight the entire time. Better job right there helping himself up, keeping the ball tight. Now going down, you don't want to help yourself up with the ball arm here. Pop up, keeping the ball high and tight the whole time. Coach sends him in any direction he wants, then sends him through. Next time you go, you put the ball in the left arm and do the same thing again. Okay, this is our squirm drill. Okay, we have four cones. All right, everyone's got the ball in the right arm. You'll see the runner here going down, um, bracing his fall with his off arm, but the entire time keeping the ball high and tight across uh, his chest. Okay, tendency is when you're falling down, to brace your fall with both arms. We want to keep the ball squeezed high and tight the, the whole time. In case we're going down to the ground, someone comes up behind us, a defender, and wraps, uh, wraps uh, his arms to make a tackle. We don't want him to punch the ball out. If there's nowhere between um, your chest and the ball, the ball should be secure. So everyone's just going around each cone, the ball high and tight against their, uh, against their chest. This is our squirm drill. Keeping it tight the whole time. Whether we're uh, running in the open field, whether we're going down to the ground, the emphasis is keeping the ball squeezed high and tight. The forefinger and the middle finger are clawed at the tip of the ball. The ball squeeze against the chest with the uh, with your forearm. Here we'll switch it up and go with our left hand next. You could always have another coach at each cone trying to punch the ball out. And go around. So you do your right hand, then you go with the left hand, constantly preaching high and tight, keep the ball squeezed as they go around each drill, each cone. 
Okay, when we hold the ball as runners, constantly talk about keeping the ball high and tight, keeping our pads low in traffic. Okay, we also talk about making people miss and breaking tackles. Okay, one of the tendencies is when you're trying to break a tackle or fight for extra yards, you worry more about the person you see than the person you don't see. So this is our stiff arm drill here. Now here we'll be running, and in each bag we'll give a stiff arm on the bag, and then we'll have a defender um, trying to punch the ball out as you're stiff arming. So um, the emphasis here is while you're using your off arm to stiff arm, you still have to be able to keep the ball high and tight um, against your chest while you're worrying about the defender you see, because oftentimes it's a defender you don't see that makes uh, the strip. So constantly keeping the ball high and tight, constantly trying to break tackles, constantly thinking about getting yak, yards after contact, constantly thinking about getting your pads down in traffic, constantly thinking about no air between the ball and your chest. Those are the thoughts that we go into when we uh, run with the football, and this is just another example of us trying to uh, keep the ball high and tight while trying to break a tackle and um, not seeing the defender trying to strip the ball out. Okay, our next drill here is wounded dogs. Okay, you'll see here, got the ball on the right arm, keeping it high and tight, squeezed across our chest. This is, uh, simulates us going to the ground, okay, bracing our fall. All right, one of the things you don't want to do is you don't want to get air between the ball and your chest because that's when a defender will come up and wrap up behind you and possibly punch the ball out. By keeping the ball squeezed against your chest, you uh, prevent that from happening. So here we're just... Um, Helping on one leg, bracing our fall with the off arm, keeping the ball high and tight against our chest the whole time. Next group goes up, ball on the right arm, off arm is the uh, left arm, touching it three times, accelerating out, keeping the ball high and tight against our chest. On the way back, we get the ball on our left arm, three hops, uh, brace our fall with the off arm, keeping the ball high and tight against our chest. Going right arm, then left arm holding a ball, and then you'll see here the whistle will blow and we'll go to the next station. Okay, last drill we'll do right here is our zigzag drill. Okay, here we're emphasizing keeping the ball high and tight as we always do. Okay, and we go to the first cone. All right, we will, uh, as we're keeping the ball high and tight, we will rip the ball back into our body. Okay, as you'll see right here, the first runner coming up to the defender, ripping the ball back into his body. As he goes to the next cone, he stiff arms the defender all the time, keeping the ball high and tight against his body. Goes to the, the third cone, rips the ball back into his body, keeping the ball high and tight, and then we always have a finish at the end. Get low to high, two hands in traffic if need be. Pad level's key. High and tight, okay, keeping the ball squeezed against your chest, and pad level. Those are very important things. This uh, next, um, the second runner attacking the last bags is way too high. That's when most fumbles occur is when guys don't have low pads. You gotta have low pads. You're too high, defender can strike the helmet and, uh, and, the, and knocking the ball loose. So the biggest thing is um, ripping the ball back into our body, using our uh, stiff arm on the next defender, ripping the ball back into our body, using the stiff arm, and then finishing through with low pads.